Sunderland. Once the kings of the northeast now lie languishing in the third tier of English football. A who's who of the managerial world have tried and failed to return this classic British club to the Premier League. But now, a new manager is on the scene. One who hopes to take this once great football club not only back to the Premier League, but to rule Europe and world football once and for all. Join me on this daily adventure with Sunderland, the making of a champion. Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 20 career mode with Sunderland, the making of a champion. We've got some transfer news for you. Octavio has gone, he's gone to Arsenal for £27.5 million. Pounds. We've got 24 of uh, that's coming in our ways. Uh, Jason Carroll's gone as well. Macaulay Bond could be on the move as well for Fortazala. Um, it's coming with a £400,000 deal, so that looks potentially uh, likely. Uh, we have brought one player in. Uh, inform you of the Benavato loan deal for Rushton Hepburn Murphy. I could probably try and get that deal over the line as well um, to get to get him out the doors. So yeah, we got one arrival. Um, it's an okay bit of business. Five million pickup. I'll show you him right now. It is. Get out of it. Get out of it. Where am I? Squad hub. Let's get into the squad hub. Uh, da, da, da. In fact, I need to bring you up to date with all the transfers that have gone out. But we've just brought in Dwight Gale. That's right. He's the same sort of uh, uh, caliber striker as Dakova uh, Reed or Bobby Reed. Uh, they're so four rated. Obviously, not as good as Greenwood, but uh, definitely better than Macaulay Bond, who looks to be on his way. And Collins could also be on his way as well if another deal comes in. Uh, but let's just show you the deals that have gone uh, uh, taking place for us this season. Um, get over there. So we uh, lost Octavio. That's gone. Carroll's gone to Falkensburg. Uh, Dale uh, Gale's come in. Lombardi's gone to the Turkish team there. McLean's gone to Emin for 880,000. That's one of our academy product products. Haugen, goalkeeper's gone to Chinda for 570,000. Ryan Sessegnon came in. 32 million. We talked about that already. Lamas went the other way. Bowen is welcome for 20 million. Anderson went the other way. Uh, Hall uh, has gone to Millwall for 240. We bought in Martinelli. We bought in Arzani. And I think that's around about it. Um, so we were looking to bring in a Rushton Hepburn Murphy. Let's let's try and bring that sucker in. Where are you? Let's get over there. Um, it'll be another option up front, and we can have a little look at him, see if he's actually worth worth um, signing on a permanent deal. So where are you, Rushton Hepburn Murphy? 23 years of age. We're going to try and loan you, see what happens with that. See if he's a decent sort of caliber player and want to come to, to another Premier League club. It should really take it. We're going to go with a one-year one year deal. We can get a good view of him to see if he's decent. Um, wages. We could probably pay the whole whack if we're honest. 60-40. I'm not going to do that, though. We're, we're, going to, we're, going to, we're going to haggle him a little bit. I think, did we try to do this before? We'll take that. We'll just we'll just go with it. 50-50, I'll take it. Hopefully, he'll come in and sign on the dotted line. The other one I was looking at, Ginley. Let's see what we could do with Ginley. I'm going to straight out and try and buy the guy. And First and foremost, we'll try and offer them some deadbeat player that we don't want anymore uh, and, and kind of swap them. Uh, we're going to try and do a player swap um, full backs. We've got quite a lot of um, shady right backs. Rizzo, Morgan Murphy, Corb. Let's get out of there. What about a uh, goalkeeper? We have abundance of goalkeepers. Let's try and palm off Liam White. Fullback striker or midfielder? Fullback striker or midfielder? How about striker? I got a couple of deadbeat boys there. James Collins, how about him? Fullback striker or midfielder? How about Matty James? How about Matty James? Okay, £2.8 million for Ginley. We'll counter that a little bit. We'll just we'll just haggle them a little bit and, and bring them down a couple pegging orders here and offer them two million plus James. There we go. We'll take that. We'll take that deal. He did impress me in the game against Preston towards back in the season. 
Um, he's not going to blow us away with with talent, but he'll be a good good fringe player to play in in, in a, a rotated team, maybe a, a, a league cup game or something like that. Sporadic, yep, yeah, I'll take that. But you were very good, so don't underestimate yourself. Four year deal, okay. We are building something here again. You know, you're still a decent age. Twenty seven grand a week. That's a lot of money, sunshine. But we are in the Premier League, so we'll we'll give it to you. So he is joining us. Could be joined by Rushton Hepburn Murphy. Anyway, let's get going and take a little look at the next game on the horizon, which is, give it to me, give it to me. It's Fulham. He's rejected the loan. Goodness me. So that sucks. So Fulham on the horizon. Both of us were in uh, the championship last season, so this could be a good chance for us to, uh, to get some points on the board. Another deal coming in. We could see a lot of bodies leaving um, Sunderland over the next uh, couple of weeks. So here we are now up against Fulham. It is away at Craven Cottage. So what do we got? Let's have a look at the team here. Um, Greenwood, Dak. It's going to be as you were. I thought we were very hard done by in that last game. Uh, we have new arrival. Ginley, 71 rated. Gale as well. Not going to really feature, I don't think. We're going to keep, keep the bench as is. And hopefully get our first victory. We were just unlucky. Dax wearing the captain arms band. That's a mistake by me, but we'll see how it goes. Battery low. Let's go. We are playing with the cord. So can we get ourselves our first victory back in the Premier League? That is on the horizon. Started well, despite a little shaky goalkeeping errors. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. We should beat these boys. To be honest with you, our team has not strengthened that much in the first team. It's just the depth has got better. You know, we do have better options for uh, rotating the squad. And it's an early bit of possession for the keeps. And this time makes decent distribution. Daxter looking for Greenwood. He's on point. Daxter is also on point. Can he get his first goal? That touches ass. And that will roll out from him. Kowanaki will chase this down for Fulham. Oh, he's beating him. He's beating him. It's one on one. It's one on one. He's cut inside. He's cut inside. He'll have a shot. It's a great save by the keeper to deny Fulham from uh, an early goal here. Another great save. It's a shit pass. Cut inside nicely. There we go. There's Daxter with the captain's armband to Greenwood. He is through. Great first touch. Can he get the second touch? Get it in. Can anybody get it in? It will be a free kick. We can't really. We're not good at free kicks, so I don't. I don't know why we're going to get too excited about this one. So, it is Greenwood. It is a good area. Oh, what shit. It was terrible. It was terrible. Moy with acres of space. They walk straight into trouble. This is frustrating times for Sunderland at the moment. Oh, goodness me. Down to Parker. Kawanaki. He's beating his man. He's got beaten his man. He's got a man on point. Decides to go for goal. And I think we might have got a touch on that. We do. It'll be a corner for Fulham. Fired in. Headed clear by Daxter, looks like. Now it's broken through for Smith Rowe. Bowen. Is he onside? He is. Tries to get the shot away. That was his best chance. He doesn't really have the electric pace I was expecting him to have when we picked him up. Kim Jung Soo. Stabbed in there. Dax in there. Oh, goodness me. It's so close to our first away goal of the season. And that should be probably half time. Well, 
what to do for folks what to piss and do do we change it up when we did change it up last time we did get our, our equalizer with Sessignon but here comes flipping Fulham trying to end the half strongly they might get a corner out of this too ref saying play on get rid get rid of it another corner perhaps we are rolling into the 50th minute now, folks. So two minutes of extra time. That is no bueno. That should be it. Neil Neil at the break. I think it's a better point for Sunderland. Okay, second half. Sunderland looking for a bit of magic. Jared Bowen. Cuts back inside. Again. He needs to have a bit of bravery and a bit of, uh, you know, belief that he can actually have a shot here because we're getting into spots. And, uh, oof. behave yourself. That was a shoulder barge. It's a shoulder barge. Oh, that's a foul for us. I'll take that. The next game, Alan. Yeah, they're playing Spurs in the next match. And I can see them Where are we? What's the clock? Sure. Clock's gone. Gone off the boil. We're going to have to look at making some changes here. Bowen's not providing no excitement down that uh, thingy. We're going to go Arzani. We are going to bring on Kearney. And we're going to go... We're going to go Martinelli here. So it's a triple subage across the midfield. Attacking midfield here. Bit more pace. Bit more zing. Let's see if we can uh, find the, break, uh, the breakthrough here today. Oh, some lovely through ball already by Kearney. I guess this old club. Picked up on the Bosman. Kearney looks for Greenwood. Martinelli's out left. Great control. Just to slip it in for Greenwood. Oh, he's missed it. He's put and missed it. He doesn't do that. He would have put that in the back of the net if it was the championship. But again, Fulham hanging on in there. Ten minutes to go. Is there is there a goal in this? I think next. Got to get possession. Got to get possession. And that oh, he barely got possession. It's given straight away. Lovely. Lovely. Hits it first time. It's a good effort. Probably the best of the night. The final seven minutes. Great tackle by Arzani. Tries to keep it in play, but no, gives it straight back to Fulham. So all that hard work with the, ta the challenge. Oh, don't give it away. This is this is going for a draw. I can't can't stress the simple things of, of getting the passing right. Oh no, two on one, two on one. Great save. It'll trickle out for a corner. And Fulham are going to end this with a, with a barrage of attempts, just like they did the first half. Sloppy start by Sunderland in the Premier League. What's that? Is that for us? It is. Let's go. Martinelli. Slips in through. Slips it through. Oh, it would have been a fantastic end to the game. Kearney up against his old club. I think that's... No, we've got time. We have got time. We're going to try the move. And the move's terrible. Move's terrible, folks. The game's over. Nil-nil. Back-to-back draws for Sunderland in the Premier League. And there's people saying, up the level. I can't up the level if I'm not winning games. I cannot up the level. Um, oh, look at that. I've already pissed them off. He's only been here two seconds. Come on, Gail. Don't worry. There's plenty of games. Plenty of games for you to make your mark. So next up for us, I don't know who who, who it is, but um, we currently find ourselves 13th in the table. Unbeaten. Uh, clean sheet, though, today. So that's a great step. Looks like Macaulay Bond's on his way out. Gone to uh, Fontazella. So next up for us, it is Tottenham Hotspur. That's right. So we are into 14th. 
Uh, Tottenham, where are they? They must be flying high, right? They are fourth in the table. A win for us would give us the five points, potentially up to sixth. A win for Spurs could go uh, could go the dizzy heights themselves. So it's at the Stadium of Light, which uh, should favour us. Uh, clean bill of health, but let's let's make some changes here. Um, more more focused on El Capitano. Uh, get back in there. Uh, no, that's it. That's all the changes. That's all the changes we made, but. Uh, Hopefully, it's good enough to get the win. So here we go. Our first me mega game, I'd say, up against Harry Kane and co. at the Stadium of Light. Have we got what it takes to beat, to win a game in the Premier League? That's what we want to know. It's a foul, a double foul. But uh, Son gets an early door yellow card. So that's uh, interesting. There's a lot of Spurs players still here. That's a shit pass. Oh, he's just danced past him. He's danced past him. Song Young Min again. I think uh, something got a, pl a player got a foot on that. It will be a corner. Fired in. Half cleared. Kane keeps it moving. But away we go with Willock. Pushed out of whack for Bowen. Greenwood is on side. Oh, he's lovely. Crept it through. It's an agonizingly good ball. Oh, Harry Kane. Excellent takedown. Lunged. Lunged in there. It's cleared off the line. Sunderland playing dodgy football here. Really nervy stuff. Not good stuff, but nervy. Oh, 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 oh. Great block. Ah, get rid of it. Moy to Willock to Smith Rowe. Go, son. Whips across in. Dacarino, great strike. It's a fantastic effort on goal. Probably one of our best of the Premier League so far. We've only scored a couple goals. It's a loose ball picked up by a Spurs man. Is it sunk? It's Witzel, Alex Witzel. Former Rovers target back in the day when we were decent. Get on it, Spies. Get on it. Cuts back. Oh, point blank range. Runa's excited. Get over here. Get over here, baby. Get over here. One nil to the good. Sunderland are in charge. Luna's overjoyed with it. Hush. One nil. Look at that. It's called pinball football, folks. Pinball football. And Sunderland have their noses in front. Dax's first goal of the campaign as well. So happy days for him. Elated for the for the ex-Blackburn man. I say that with a... Obviously, he's not really ex. He's, he's still, I'm, you know, kind of, I kind of pretend that he's gone. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. But anyway, now now Tottenham trying to get an equaliser. Did the, did the keeper get a touch to that? No, he did not. Uh, final three minutes. This would be a good start for Sunderland. Uh, turn our two points into five. Go. Dun, 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 dun. Murphy. Academy product. Ah, tries to get a cross in. And Luna just can't. He just can't stop getting excited. Bowen. Blocked. And that is half time. Sutherland 1-0 up against our uh, decent Tottenham. So second half, Spurs will kick us off. I will I'll gladly just leave it. No more goals, please. Just a 1-0. Once the League Cup get, gets into gear and uh, the games start kicking up a little bit, we'll see a rotated uh, 11 or maybe some of these fringe players can uh, get themselves into the reckoning. Because right now, I can't... I can't Change the team. Greenwood down the middle. Dakaruni. Oh, it's gone on the outside. Round the outside. It will be a throw in for Sunderland. They're making a change. Uh, Tottenham. It's a shit throw. Throw in for the boys again. A little bit further field. 
That's a terrible pass by the skipper. Daxter! Just to turn on six, but a second goal would make us feel a bit more comfortable. But right now, it doesn't seem to be the way. Bowen trying to check this ball and down. It's a header. It's terrible. So Tom Kenny is coming on for Smith Rowe. He's going to play down the left-hand side, so it's an unusual spot for him. But we'll uh, we'll allow it and see what goes on. And here is his first touch. And it's terrible, but we still have possession. Oh, beautiful take by the Academy product. Whips the ball in. Oh, it should have scored. I must have pressed the wrong button. It should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. Let's try the move. That's a terrible, terrible pass. All the way back through to the keeper. Take his time. Bit game management here, perhaps. There's Murphy. Loses it. Into stoppage time now. Go forward. That should gobble up a bit more time. Bowen's not really again. It's, it's that right. It's that cursed right hand side. Nobody's nailed it down over the years. Someone's come in and. And, and, you know, no one's nailed it down. So, But that is the final whistle. I'm a little, a little bit, uh, uh, you know, lost in the tracks there. But I am elated. It is a massive three points. We're up and moving. First win of the season. Where are we going to be? Let's have a little look. Um, it's time to adjust. Give him, give him a bit of time. Time to focus. Moving on to the next one, folks. That's right. We've just got to do that. Uh, I'm pleased we won. Just get that hoodoo off our back. Thanks, that's all the and now we'll focus on the next one. And the next one will be a Premier League match. Uh, but we're up to ninth in the table. I'll take that after our first three games. So for tomorrow's episode, we will go and take a look at who we're on next. It is Leicester City. The transfer window will shut, so it might be just a single episode. We'll see how that single thing. And then Everton and West Ham are on the horizon. Um, yeah, so far, so good for us out in the Premier League. Uh, hopefully, you can join us tomorrow as the adventure continues. Something taking shape at the moment. We may see a few players uh, come and go as well as the transfer window slams shut. But if you've got any suggestions, get them in nice and early. But until then, I'm going to let you get out of here. Smash the thumbs up. Smash the subscribe if you're new. Back tomorrow with the making of the champion. Ba -ba -bum -bum. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>